guys, it's me. I am back for another awaited video and I've been waiting to do this video forever but have not had the time to do it because I've just been really tired. Today, we're gonna be doing my Angelic Pretty unboxing. So I found out about Fancy Hospital coming out in Japan. I have not been staying with the updates in Lolita. Um, Fancy Hospital is a Minhara type of print and I really, really like that like type of style. Not the very gory side, I like the cute with some of the little stuff, like, you know, bandages and whatnot. Anyway, so I found out about Fancy Hospital. I went, it was already out on the Japanese website when I learned about it coming out, so I was really excited because I knew it was gonna be like a week or two weeks before the San Francisco store got it and I would just get it from the San Francisco store. And then um, I had to save up money for it, so I was a little upset that I found out so late. I would only have two weeks to save up money and then I was like wait they usually don't do like same day releases on San Francisco like I'm gonna put on notifications for their Facebook because when they update they should have at least another week before they release it right so they'll update and they'll be like this time on this day this will come out and I feel like they usually give a week I think that's what I had for diner doll was a week or something like that the day they update their Facebook account saying hey this time on um, this date you'll be able to get um, Fancy Hospital. It was literally tomorrow at 10 a.m. But stupid early in the morning, so I had plenty of time to buy it. It was gonna be great. But here's the sad part. I open my laptop, I have it going, I'm clicking refresh, and at 11.59 the page comes up for Fancy Hospital. And already the colorway and the cut I want, gone. So I got a different colorway, in the same cut I wanted and the tights. I put these in the basket. I didn't log into my Angelic Pretty account. I knew time was of the essence. By the time all this had happened, it had been like three minutes, the dress was out of my cart. And I was like, no it's not. It's a glitch. So I refreshed my page and the tights were gone too. You know, I'm just gonna have to wait for it to come up second hand. It's probably gonna be a year or more, I'm probably gonna be saying, paying the same price or something like that. Like I was talking to my friend Ray about this. Ray was going to um, Europe. So I was telling her this super sad story. And she goes, I can check and see if it's in the Angelic Pretty Store in Paris. And if it is, I will buy it for you and you just have to pay me back. So I was like, yes yes please yes she goes to ireland like a week later they're in paris and i get a message from her the colorway and the cut i wanted she found it so that is what she bought me i paid her back for it it was more expensive i think maybe 50 bucks more expensive than if i would have just been able to get it from the san francisco site so i only had to pay for the dress and the sock or the tights so long story short i did actually end up getting them this bag has been opened and checked and came all the way from Paris. Are you guys ready to see Fancy Hospital? This was 48 euros and it's just still in the package. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it really fast for you. These are my first pair of brand tights. Um, I really like the tight trend and I know that brand tights are really nice. I just can never justify spending 50 bucks on tights until now because I think these are really versatile and I'll be able to wear them with a lot of my other kawaii cords. I think they'll go with a lot of other stuff, not just Lolita, so I felt like it was worth the purchase because it's not just gonna be for Lolita, for me. Um, it is super cute. They seem really small, but I know they stretch really well. They're a very nice, soft, strong material. I really, really like this bandage up here. It's so sad that it's so high up because no one's gonna be able to see it, you know? Um, we have a band-aid that says Angelic Pretty on this side and a bear on the back of that. And little pills that say AP and little melty hearts that say Fancy Hospital. So I will be trying those on for you guys.
the Peace de Resistance. I do not have any little cute things from Paris. Uh, all I got was this. No postcards, no anything like that. No art to show you. Don't worry. Just the dress and the socks. So this is what it looks like in the paper. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. The There's a button at the top of the collar. This cute little pink bow. It has some strings poking out that need to be cut. And it is just a pin, so I can unpin that and move it around where I want. The dress was 231 euros. Go ahead and pull that open. This is what the dress looks like. Ray was really impressed about how stretchy the cut sew stuff was. It's also got the little, um, which is why she said if I gotten it in the pink colorway, she would have taken it. Okay, and that is the print. A lot of people also, I guess, didn't realize because when they showed the samples of the, when they showed the samples of the print, everything looked much smaller and closer together. They didn't realize it was going to be big like this. And I think um, Angelic Pretty kind of sized it down and smushed them all together so you could see what the print was going to, in, set, in essence, look like. But it looks much better like this. So I heard a couple people remark that they thought it was going to be busier. Um, and they like that it wasn't. So that is that. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those out for you guys and do more detailed shots. And I'm going to try them on for you. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. See?